So hey guys, um, <clears throat> I'm jumping on. Um, I hope everybody had a great weekend. I was sick. Um, you can probably still tell a little bit, um, but I wanted to get a video of today because we have so many new subscribers. Oh my God. Welcome, 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 welcome. And thank you to everybody who's, you know, just been sending all the wonderful comments and everything. I sincerely, sincerely appreciate it. Um, but um, what I wanted to do today, I'm going to keep this eye look really, really simple. Um, something kind of quick and soft. What I'm going to do is start going back and visiting some old, not old, but products I just haven't used in a while. And I want to bring up... Um, Wait, before I address that, I want to address um, one of my subscribers. She was like, what is that on your eyes before? So, you guys, if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I use the Kat Von D High Voltage Eye Primer, Prime and Correct. They don't make it anymore, so that's why I kind of don't um, come on and talk about it um, because this is what I use. And I have a backup of it, so and this has lasted me for over a year, and I have another one to get through, so um, that's why I kind of hadn't. Don't say it too often, and all I did was set it with some translucent powder. But yeah, this is what I use for the person that wanted to know the Kat Von D uh, High Voltage Eye Primer. And she does not sell it on her website anymore. She was at one point, but it's not there anymore. So I'm sorry, but yeah, that's what I use to kind of conceal um, my um, darkness on my eyelids. But what I think I'm going to do is come back. Give me, I'm going to come back and tell you guys what I'm thinking about using. And, uh, yes, yeah, so since tight. I'm on a no buy, what I decided to do was, um, kind of go back and use some of the eyeshadows and palettes and stuff that I have not picked up in a minute. And I don't know if you guys remember, but Buxom, I know that they still sell this at Ulta. I don't know if they still sell it at Sephora, but you can get the individual you can make up your own, and this is one that I made up, and I have another one that I made up, and these slide out, and you pop them in. They pop out. Here's the, the, the name, the shadow, the color, mm, the name of the eyeshadows on the bottom, and then you just slide them into this, um, you, they're housed in here, and you just slide them in. And so, yeah, so you can create your own customized palette. So, I have another one of these, but what I decided to do, I have YouTube showed me an old video of, <laughs> anyway, I was like, boy, if y'all go back and watch some of my old, my first videos that I put up, they are not the best, but what we're going to do is I'm just going to play out of this eyeshadow palette today, and um, I'm going to go ahead and pull it out so I can tell you guys the um, shadow name, so we're going to come back and get started with our base shadow and um, we are going to start off with Gimme Gorgeous. So I'm just going to take Gimme Gorgeous and go right here up underneath. I can't remember. I was in love with these eyeshadows at one point, but then I just stopped using them. Started playing with so many other things. Just started buying makeup like crazy. <laughs> but yeah. I'm going to see what we can come up with today. Nothing too complicated because I'm not really still feeling the best, but I'm better than I was. Um, so if you have the flu, take care of yourself. Stay in. The key really is to get rest. So snow here in Memphis. So, of course, everything was shut down um, <clears throat> Friday and Saturday. So I was, it was, I ended up getting sick like Thursday night. So, um, yeah. That's going to be the keys to really get you some rest. So let's see how these Buxom eyeshadows perform. I think, I, yeah, these, they are very smooth. So I'm just putting this little base down, and then we'll come back with our next shade. Like I said, we're going to keep it really simple today. The next shade I'm going to pick up is called Filthy Rich, and I'm just going to use that as my transitional shade. I want it kind of blown out. Not too harsh. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Well, if you go back and look at the video of me when I first started, you guys are going to have a good last. I already thought I knew what I was doing. <laughs> e -e -e -e. I still am still not the best person as far as, you know, blending. I, I, I try to just get it done as best as I know how, but 
for those older videos. I call myself really trying to help. <laughs> I'm gonna try to insert a picture. I'm basically using um, the shadows from that one of my older videos, um, and it was a year ago. So I was like, let me just bust this out and see what the look would look like today with um, better brushes, baby. The brushes I was using. Oh my God, no, ma'am. You have to invest in some at least a good blending brush. And I should, you, you just have to. A couple good blending brushes, crease brushes, taper brush. You need at least five good eye brushes. And it may take you a minute to discover what works for you. But, um, yeah, they really do make a difference in, you know, your eye look. <laughs> so the next shade I'm going to go in with is Hot or Yacht. It's like a dark gray. And I'm actually going to just use this to deepen up the outer V area right here. These are really good. So if you've seen these and you've been wanting to, um, you've been wondering, I say give them a look, especially if you need to do some, um, find some ash shadows that you have been wanting to play with, like some singles, yeah. I think the deal is you buy, what is this, six of these and you get the tray thing free, or it comes with the tray thing. Or the deal works better when you buy um, the six. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with our transitional shade, the brown, and just kind of blend it out over the top. Okay. The next shade I'm gonna go in with is called Champagne Buzz. It's like a soft little pink, champagne-y type color. And I'm going in with it dry. And you can see the color pay. You can get the payoff really well. But I am going to probably add it, spritz it. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not. It's doing a pretty good job. Yeah, I'll probably skip the spritzing. Because it's doing a great job. Pigmentation is really there. These are really smooth, and I haven't used these in forever, like probably since I did that last video. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go back in with our outer V color and get that blended on to our pink champagne. So this is like gray and pink. It's a pretty combination. I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. Get the top of that blended out, and um, we'll be right back. Okay, so I did go in and add um, a little sh um, shimmer. I mean, I wet my brush, and then went in with the lid shade just on top of the dry. Yeah, so I can give it a little more pop. So, yeah, we'll be right back. So, <clears throat> sorry, I'm going to skip eyelashes today I believe so I've taken the time and built up my eyelashes with the Marc Jacobs so if you've been following me you pretty much know that his eye products for me and my contact lens wearing allergy sinus sufferer <laughs> is the bomb I don't know what he has in his stuff but it doesn't run and it doesn't irritate my eyes so this is the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. So yeah, I do think I'm gonna skip eyelashes today. They may change though. So I wanted to let you guys know that I have been liking to do the powder before foundation. So I just did my priming and I'm just gonna go in and stamp a little bit of a non of a translucent. This is the RCMA, I think no color powder and I'm just using it to stamp over my primers that I laid down to me what it kind of puts me in the mindset of is that you're setting your primers 
so that no oils will come through those, can break through those. So we're going to see. Because I'm going to use a the Too Faced, I think, um, foundation today. And you know that one is a little more hydrating. Um, I hadn't used it in a while. Plus it's winter, so I don't have to be as mad because it's so cold outside. <laughs> So, yeah, we're going to try that today. Hey, you guys. This is the final look for me today. Um, I did not put any eyeliner on. Just a little mascara underneath. And that's really it. And uh, I hope you guys like this backtrack. We're going to do a couple more of those um, backtrack with some other eyeshadows and uh, makeup that I have. And, um, yeah, let me know what you all think about the no lashes, no liner. Um, totally. I like it. It's simple. Um, really, four eyeshadows for the uh, eye look, and that's it. And, uh, yeah. So, I got to get out of here, and I will see you all on the next turn. Um, thanks, you too. Bye-bye.